addressing climate change with radical self-sufficiency. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 407. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is uh, One Community's January 10th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic, what I want to talk about, is addressing climate change with radical self sufficiency. Because everything you see happening in the background of the video here and everything that One Community is creating is a foundation for radical self sufficiency that provides a way of living that is more luxuriant, that is better than the way that most people are living right now. And in so doing, by open sourcing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for how to live this way, we are working to create a virally self-replicating model for positive global change. Positive enough to spread across the world and create a sustainable civilization within our lifetime, which sounds crazy, but it really isn't. I mean, if we can create a self-replicating model and turn one community into three communities by inspiring two more the next year, and then four the year after that, and eight the year after that, 16 year after that, 32 after that, 64, we don't have to reach every single person, but we could if that model replicated in for 30 years. We just need to reach that tipping point, that critical mass necessary to positively impact the lives of everybody on the planet, and we can create a sustainable world for everybody that wants to live this way. And we believe that the model that we're creating will be so much better than the way that most people are living, because it's a healthier way of living, it's a more enriching way of living, it specifically better meets the needs, our core values, the core needs, better than the way that people are living right now, such that it's just more enriching and enjoyable. And so we want to address climate change with radical self-sufficiency that people love to participate in and invite hundreds of thousands and then millions of people to do that, giving the tools and the resources necessary by creating the infrastructure and the DIY do-it-yourself resources to replicate everything that we're doing. And this idea of addressing climate change with radical self-sufficiency doesn't just require communities. I mean, everything that we're building is designed and designing is designed to be replicated as individual components as well. So for people that look at it and go, oh, I'm not interested in community living, or oh, I don't, I don't want to build anything that big, or how would I even start? I just really would like to you know, start a, a community-run education program from my own home in my current community, just with my friends and family. Or I would just like to grow myself a garden or plant something that I've never done done before or start eating healthier, you know, or build myself a guest home or build myself a new home that's sustainably built, that's not built with toxic materials, you know, or start growing more food because I don't want food that's been sprayed with poison, you know, with herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides that have been shown to be unhealthy to, to me and my family. Why would I want to eat that? I'd rather grow my own food and I want to grow food that's fresher and better and more diverse than what I can get in the grocery store. Well, you know, one community's model is designed to create templates for that as well. And so our idea of addressing climate change with radical self-sufficiency is to demonstrate radical self-sufficiency is easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that the idea spreads around the world on its own, creating a global cooperative and collaborative of teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well, and eventually to also build industry examples of highest good living. And we call it highest good living because it's designed with the highest good of all life and all people on this planet in mind. And the radical self-sufficiency is addressing all the foundations of living, the food, the energy, and housing aspects sustainably but also the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, as true earth stewardship, as high school education models and economic models, putting all that together for a way of life that most people consider to be way better than the way they're living right now. That's it. And through doing this, even if we fail to infect society and humanity with this idea of, wow, we can live better if we work together, if we cooperate and collaborate, and we build sufficient sustainably instead of uh, destructively, even if we fail to enroll humanity in this idea, 
Everything that we're doing is a step in the right direction. And by open sourcing and free sharing it all, we are creating the tools and resources necessary for anybody that's interested in participating to that as well. But if we succeed in making easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, so you'll spread its own, it will change the world. We will positively and permanently impact the lives of every single person on this planet looking forward at what it is that we've, from this moment, and what it is that we're capable of accomplishing. And so this is what our all-volunteer team has dedicated ourselves to. I'm a volunteer, and the 500 other 500 plus other volunteers that have contributed to this project, to our nonprofit, non-governmental organization, creating these open source tools and resources for the betterment of all people everywhere. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. And we can think of no nobler venture or adventure to participate in than this, and that's why we're doing it. So. Can we address climate change with radical self-sufficiency? Well, of course we can. Every single little thing that we do is a step in the right direction, you know, and I haven't even talked about our communities and like what the recycling programs look like, how we'll be net negative for trash because we would have people bringing their waste products and plastic and things like that onto the property, even though we're radically reducing all that stuff through our own methods, through buying things like toothpaste by toothpaste in barrels or making our own rather than buying it in little tubes, you know, and then you have all the people that are bringing that stuff on the property because they have their own versions of it and leaving their waste and how we will sustainably address all that. I mean, that's just one example. And then you get the food and the housing, the education, all of this, creating the ambassadors of the future to create a better world for everybody. You know, a training ground where people can come and experience this and realize like, whoa, this is what's possible. When we really decide to be stewards of our environment, when we decide to live in integrity with every single thing that we do, and every moment and every decision that we make, we work to say, what is the best decision that we can make? And we have a supportive team of friends and family to help us do that the right way, the best way, always looking to level up our own ideas, our own consciousness, and our own approach to all of this stuff by working together with that as our common and most important focused goal of living and creating for the highest good of all. This is what we're up to. So if that sounds cool, get involved. Check out our helping page for all the different ways you can get involved. Stick around for a couple minutes. See bullet points uh, related to all the different components of our project. A little bit more detail on specifically what we're creating. Visit our written blog if you'd like to see the specifics of everything that it is that we have designed within the last week. What our all-volunteer team has done. And uh, as always, thanks for watching to the end. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.